this video gives you a little bit of information about the different kind of pencils that you can use for drawing and shading. Now two of these pencils are designed for drawing and two of them are designed for shading, but I just wanted to show you what the difference was between each of them. The first one is a mechanical pencil. Mechanical pencils have an equivalency to a 2B or an HB pencil. It has a fairly hard graphite, which it has to, so that it doesn't snap constantly on you. And it remains sharpened because it's such a tiny point. Now this is a, a 0.5 lead zebra, but all mechanical pencils pretty much work the same. And they'll give you a nice clean line, which if you draw soft enough, will be able to be erased cleanly. And you can shade with them, but when you shade, it's such a tiny point that you have to work super slowly and doesn't quite get as dark as some of the shading pencils. But depending on your lead, you can get a nice number 10 if you'd like. Now, because it's such a sharp, sharp point, you can end up with really, really smooth shading. But of course, it does take longer because of that sharp point. But as you can see, nice little grayscale from a mechanical pencil. Now the next pencil that I have is just a standard pencil. Again, uh, it says HB or 2B, and you have to sharpen this one. But it is also good for drawing, which if you draw with a nice soft line, can erase cleanly. And for shading, it doesn't quite get to the number 10 that even the mechanical pencil did. So if you're doing shading with this, you'll never really get those number 10s out of it. Now our next type of pencil is a standard shading pencil. This brand is called Kimberly and it is a 7B, which is one of the softer graphites. The softer the graphite is, the darker your tins can get. So, when you draw a line, even if you draw it very softly, it is not going to erase all the way. It will stain the paper. This is why you should not draw with a shading pencil. Shade with a shading pencil, yes, but not draw with a shading pencil because you will not erase those lines. Now, when it comes time for shading, though, as you can see, it definitely gives you a darker number 10 than that 2B pencil. And it is easier to build up those number 10s to get your darker shadows. But even though it's a softer graphite, it is still possible to get very light shadows with it. I'm not a fan of mixing pencils. I don't like it that much. Now my last type of pencil that I have is an ebony pencil, which is the softest graphite that you can get before um, charcoal. Now this is Prismacolor brand, but there are different brands of ebony pencils. And again, this one is designed for shading, not drawing. Because just like the 7B, even if you draw very lightly, that line will not erase all the way because it does stain the paper. However, it does give you those nice dark number 10s that are easy to get. And you still can fade away to softer values. So first we had a mechanical pencil. And again, that depends on the type of lead you put in it. We had a standard drawing pencil, which lets you draw and erase well, but not so much shade well. We had a 7B, which lets you create nice shading and is a little easier to control. And then we have our ebony pencil, which does give you nice dark number 10s, 
but definitely gives you um, a harder ability to get those lighter shadows and of course because it's so soft it does smudge quite easily so those are four pencils that you can deal with when working with graphite personally i like to draw with a standard pencil and i like to shade with a shading pencil either the ebony or the 7b depending on what i have handy